Hi, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. I have a thread up month three update on what has sold and any tips and tricks or just an overall summary of what I am doing to increase my sales. Now, I just want to say that over 60% of you are not subscribed to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell. I upload about every two to three days. Most of it is thread up content at the moment. So please subscribe, I do greatly appreciate it. Also, just a side tip. I saw a screenshot from a big time thread up seller from customer support. They were saying that they are slowly putting a freeze on sellers to get labels on thread up. They are trying to slow down resellers. That's how, that's how I'm taking it. And that really concerns me because like I said, I'm only three months into thread up. So I am still learning and I would be very upset if they are trying to put a stop to resellers sending in, you know, a large quantity of items. I understand they can't process as quick as people are sending in. Um, like I live in Illinois and my kids are going to Arizona right now. They are going to need to take the full 14 days for expedited processing. I have had a few minor issues, nothing major. Um, but I am, I'm paying for the expedited, which I highly recommend. However, before when my kits would only go a few hours north, the items would be processed within 48 hours. And in Arizona, that's not the case. Also, just a side note, I've had four kits go live within the last two to three weeks, which I know isn't much, but, and, uh, I have sold hardly anything. I haven't, I think I've had one goodie pull and that's actually from Illinois. I don't know what's going on at the Arizona warehouse, but I'm really hoping my new labels will come from Illinois. I don't know. Okay, just a quick summary and then I will show you snapshots of the items that I sold. I sold a total of 41 items this month, which I think is the highest that I've sold so far. I have earned a total of $1,465. Now, I have not sent in tons of stuff like I've seen others do. So this is on a smaller scale as I have so much going on in my life right now. However, I would like to increase this as I get more labels and I have more time as my kids go off to school. Okay, I currently have 12 selling kits. That means they are currently active. I did just recently reclaim, I think, two kits. I have two received kits. They are waiting to be processed. I have one that's probably being delivered to the warehouse today. So I have a total of two sent kits, two received kits, and I have nine ordered kits. Okay, so I have been ordering kits like anytime I can think of it, I'm like, okay, order a kit. Okay, order a kit. So last month I started a second account because they would no longer get me labels for my account. So I have labels coming and I have current labels here. I'm going to create a death pile of labels because I think something is just around the corner where they're going to put a freeze on resellers and I don't want to be one of those people that can't get labels. So just a tip, maybe you want to order more labels than you currently need. Okay. All right. Let's get started. You can access your stats on ThreadUp's website. I believe, I don't think you can see this on the app, at least not on my Android. So here we have a little screenshot of my earnings. Like I said, I'm a smaller seller. Let's get on with what has sold. For the record, I do not pick up each and empty source. I got this personally to wear. didn't like how it fit. Tried selling it on Posh and it just sat. So I sent it in and yes, the payout is low, but I'll take it. This goes to show that just because an item is new with tags doesn't mean you need to buy it. I did thrift this. I hardly spent any money on it, but it is probably at least 10 years old. I couldn't sell it myself, so I sent it in, and I am okay with the payout. I could not give these J Brand jeans away on eBay or Poshmark, and they sold for the price you see here for a goodie pull, so my payout was immediate. This vest was free, CJ Banks plus size, well it is plus size. It surprisingly is doing decent for me. I will source it if I can get it for a dollar, but most of the stuff I have is free. This philosophy dress is super, super cute. I sent this directly to ThreadUp, I did not try sending it, selling it myself, and it sold for the $56.99 price that you see here. I try to stay away from outlet and factory tags. 
I accidentally picked up this dress, but it's a goodie pull. I'm okay with the payout. However, now I'm trying to be a little bit more selective and have higher payouts closer to $15 to $20. Chico's does surprisingly well for me, especially their pants. I believe these were in like new condition or they were new with tags, but I get them usually for a dollar, a dollar fifty, and I have sold several pairs with good payouts just like this. I have been passing on J. Jill, but I think I'm going to try sending in more of it. As you can see, the payout here is just what I'm looking for, and it was a cute dress. I purchased this for myself on Poshmark. I never wore it. I paid like $10, $15 for it, so I still made a profit. I tend to only pick up loft if it's a dress, a sweater, or a jacket because the profit payout is higher. I pass on most blouses. I paid $1.50 for this, just trying the brand out. Obviously, the payout was not very well, so I'm going to pass on the brand from now on. This sweater was given to me, so I am okay with the payout. Next time, I will not pay for expedited processing on items that are just given to me, unless I know they are really good brands. Talbots does well for me. In general, the mature brands do well for me, and I find a lot of it in my area. So this payout, I am very happy with. I got this hoodie at a garage sale for a dollar. I should have sold it myself. I could have made probably 20 I just didn't feel like it, so it sent, I sent it in, and I still profited about $4. Here's a blouse that was donated to me, so I'm okay with $5.66. Ann Taylor Lop, size large. Jacket, shocked that it sold for over a hundred dollars. These next five items were donated to me. I should have sold the Columbia vest myself. I could have had a higher payout if I initially sold that myself. The 90 degree pullover shocked me. I see it all the time in the thrift. The Judy blue pants I also should have sold myself. This top I almost kept myself. It was super soft and cozy. I've been told that Topshop sells fast on ThreadUp. It's not initially retailing for much, but I got this for, I think, a dollar, and it was new with tags. This vest was given to me, and for it being a not popular brand, I'm okay with $9, and, you know, pure profit. I think I paid $1.50, maybe $2 for this blouse. It was brand new with tags, and it came from Stitch Fix. This top felt very cheap to me, but I figured with the colors and the plus size, it would do decent, and it did. Plus, it was free. This Skyzer blue top was so cute with a tiered, like, loose fit. If it was in my size, I totally would have kept it. It was donated to me. I never heard of this Cess Femme. I think that's how you pronounce it, top, but it was free, so I'll take it. The next dress, couldn't sell myself, ASOS. I'll take the 912. This blouse, I believe this was donated. This was donated as well. Donated. <laughs> you know, I, I love all these small increments, but the free people, yes, yes, yes. I'm not even going to try to sell free people myself anymore. I'm sending it straight to thread up. Gap is okay. I've sold a few gap pieces and reclaimed some other gap pieces. I'll probably pass unless it's a nice sweater or dress or new with tags. I got this top for 50 cents. It looks super cozy and the pant was okay. This one was free, donated to me. I got this free people. It was new with tags. It was extra small, which is a smaller size. You know, they tend to not sell as fast, but I sold it for, I believe, full price of over $100. Yeah, $102 there. So, yes. I debated getting the loft outlet jacket, but since it was a denim jacket, I figured it would sell super fast. And it did. I wish the pair was a little bit higher. I believe Taylor is sold at Macy's. It was new with tags, and I loved the print. Again, I didn't realize this was loft outlet. But it was a goodie pull, and I got $10, so I'm okay with that. However, I'm going to probably stay away from the outlet in the future. This is an example of how you need to resend items that are 
denied because I had sent this initially. They denied it, I think because of the texture. They thought it was worn, but it's supposed to be that way. So it is factory, but I'm okay with the payout. This top was given to me, and yes, the payout is very, very, very low. So what was the number one item that shocked you as far as payout? I think mine were just the other day for the J brand pants or jeans. They were like pattern jeans, which I think are kind of out of season, or I should say out of fashion. They were popular probably a few years ago. Those just sold the other day and it was instant payout, so I'm guessing those were a goodie pull and um, like shocked. Also, I want to let you know I am very active on the Instagram community as far as reselling. If you want to follow me, it's at thrifting is my beach, just the same name as my channel. I will put it down below as well. But I communicate with tons of people. They message me with questions, um, their frustrations with ThreadUp. And, you know, like I've only been in it three months. I just give them my, my advice. I am no expert. So just keep that in mind. Um, what was something that troubled me? Oh, the other day, I've had at least two to three people tell me that they are not receiving their payouts. So there is no nice like little spreadsheet that ThreadUp gives us. And I will admit, I don't like each day, okay, I should get paid out for this on this day. I don't go back and look, you know, I do my monthly spreadsheet and I would notice it probably at that point, but I don't keep up to date like on a daily. So just to know if you have payouts and your numbers don't seem to be adding up, you might want to check and see if ThreadUp made a mistake on their end. So I think that's all I had for you guys, but thank you. My next video I am very excited about. I've been thinking about it for at least like almost a month and it should be up in a few days, but please subscribe if you haven't again and hit the like button. All right, have a thrift delicious day.